Last week, the Central Procurement Board of Namibia came under fire after it revealed that it could not confirm the existence of Kanyama's factory despite awarding the tender for medical supplies to the company. In response to these claims, Kanyama invited the media to tour his factory located on Birmingham Street in the northern industrial area of Vent Hook. The NBC News team was able to view the production of condoms and other items underway in the factory. Despite industry players questioning the existence of Kanyama's factory, the company manager Maggie Shimbale confirmed it does in fact exist. She says they currently employ three permanent workers and 47 casual workers, though plans are to expand and hire more employees. Uh, concerning the controversy about the condom co tender, uh, the tender hasn't been awarded yet. We only got a notification uh, about the award. Um, besides that, the factory is existing. People are saying we don't exist. We, it's, a, it's, a, it's a suitcase company. Um, but the machines are here, everything, the production of all the clinical disposal products are taking place here. And if you look at the opposite direction there, there is a factory again that is being, um, is under construction. We are, we are expanding, the meaning there is a possibility for us to recruit um, around about 80 to 150 people more. As soon as there's a tender that is in brackets currently, um, get approved and so forth. Health Minister Dr. Kalumbi Shangula addressed the tender controversy in his recent update on the COVID-19 situation, emphasizing the importance of critical HIV prevention measures and the role of condoms in controlling the spread of the disease. He warned that cancellation of the tender would put public health and human life at risk. Daniel Nadunyan, BC News, Van Hook.